Welcome everyone. I really hope you enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks and have a fantastic day. Welcome everybody. So tonight we're going to talk about how I took this chuck glider because I chuck it into the air and turned it into this masterpiece. My goal was just to buy a cheap, cheap, cheap glider off of Amazon and turn it into a glider because me and a couple of pals was talking about if it's possible and what it would, would it look like. So I went to Amazon and bought this pair for $36.59, uh, I think it is. And once I got it home, I basically started trying to scratch my head and say, how do I turn this into an RC glider? I wanted four channels, without a doubt. And I wanted it to be extremely light when I was done. I didn't want to make it a big fat pig. You know what I mean? So I started by first weighing what the entire glider weighed. And I didn't know if it would be good or bad what the weight would be, but it was 4.3 ounces. I knew I'd have to hollow out the inside of the fuselage a lot to get everything fit in it. So I went to my Weller uh, soldering gun that I'd modified for cutting foam. And I started hollowing out the entire, as much as I could in the fuselage. I cut out the ailerons, rudder, and elevator. Here you can see that the fuselage is pretty hollow. I'm still going to put a really thin coat of glass cloth on it. The hinges were pretty straightforward, just little bitty Debro hinges on it. And uh, I 3D printed the receiver tray. That's what you're looking at right here. So I had something to mount it to. And I printed the uh, servo tray. And that's what this looks like. And this is only for the rudder and elevator, by the way. The uh, All these hinges in it are the little Dubro mini hinges. And just take your time. And I cut out the foam and put those on. The horizontal st stab does warp a little bit because this hinge line is not on one plane. So when you move the elevator up and down, it does warp it a little bit. But it didn't matter. I just wanted it to be controlled by one servo. I did put the control arms on top of the wing because landing in grass, I'm afraid I'd tear up the bottom of the, the uh, controls. And I made a little aerodynamic cover there. I 3D printed my own control horns for this. Here's a little aerodynamic cover for everything being mounted on top of the wings. Now, the receiver is a big old horse one that I have because I got eight of these and I wanted to use one. There's a voltage regulator here uh, that takes it from the, uh, you know, basically 7.2 volts down to, I believe, 5 volts. And I've got a little bitty lipo here. I'll show you in a minute. The servos for the ailerons are these HS40s. And they're really good little bitty servos, guys. They're, they're awesome. And for the elevator and rudder, I use the HS55s. Uh, which I already owned. I owned a handful of these. And the uh, basically the voltage regulator thing here is really neat. Now, my friend Burger Devil Lapina helped me design this uh, system here, guys. But unfortunately, I probably won't use it because it ended up being too light to get the CG right. Here are the lipos I used, which are really cool little bitty lipos I got on Amazon. So this is what the voltage regulator uh, looks like, or whatever you want to call it. It takes it from 7.2 down to 5 volts. It's really, really cool, folks. It's really tiny, but the thing is, is it's almost too light. I have a Castle little bitty 20 amp or 10 amp uh, BEC regulator that I'm probably going to use because to get the CG right. This shows how small the HS40 is, which... Folks, this is a really neat, fun little project. It's really turned out really kick-ass. Here's the bottom of the wing where I mounted the servos. I just used my little weller and uh, melted the uh, foam away where I needed it. And it's just patience here, folks. This is what it looks like. Of course, I'm going to cover this in clear tape and everything. See how the control horn sticks out the bottom there? I did not like that. I thought every time I landed in grass, I'd probably break that off. That's the reason I ended up putting the control horn out the top of the wing. <laughs> <laughs> this is what the front of it looks like with the little bitty, uh, and that actually has the Castle BEC in there and the little um, LiPo battery. The airplane comes with two big ball bearings in that black canopy there, so I did epoxy one of them in the very front of the nose. And folks, the CG turned out absolutely perfect on this. 
I'm still not 100% sure I'm going to glass the fuselage with my really light cloth, but I might. So here's a picture showing the two ball bearings in the canopy. And honestly, just as, you know, and we always call these chuck gliders because we chuck them in the air. You know, chuck means throw or throw away. You know, if we destroy it, we destroy it. But here's a little test of all the control surfaces moving. And uh, it just turned out fabulous, folks. I'm just tickled to death that this little thing uh, worked out as good as it did. And I don't know how many hours I have in this. Not a lot, folks. I only spent like, you know, a half hour here, you know, 20 minutes here, there, and you know, it took me about a week, maybe, to put this thing together. Just playing around a little bit. But overall, it is just a cool little glider. We'll see how good it is. I don't expect it to be, you know, anything that's going to have any records for gliding or anything. But it's just going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to get it in the, into the air. And I'm sure everybody wanted to know what it weighs. It's 7.3 ounces, considering we started out at, what, 4.3? What did we start out at? We started at 4.3 ounces, ended up at 7.3 ounces. So, folks, um, hopefully at Ceph uh, this year, we're going to drop this from a drone from a really high altitude, you know, 399 feet, uh, 11 and 7 eighths inches. And uh, so we're just going to have fun with this. We may launch it from the top of my Cessna 170, uh, my Flex Cessna 170. But we're going to see what we can do with this at Ceph. I built this for Ceph this year. So please like and subscribe my videos, folks. I'll see you next time and go out and build something cool because this was done pretty much on the cheap. Rock on. Take care. Bye-bye.